Hi, I'm Ryan from Iron Planet Hobbies. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the ESU cap control to work with the TCS UWT100 throttle, and we're going to do it without using JMRI. Okay, to get started, a few things that you will need are the cap control device. You will also need the mobile control 2 throttle which comes with the cap control. You will need the ESU LNET converter and you will need the Digitrax LNWI and you will connect these with all the appropriate cables that they come with and power supplies and then by doing that that will allow the TCS throttle to connect to the LNWI which in turn is connected to the cab control. And so this is how you can set up the TCS throttle to work without having a PC running the JMRI Wii throttle server. So if you like, uh, stay tuned. We'll move over here to the workbench and we'll set this up and you can see it in action. Okay, here you can see I've got the cab control and with the EcoSlink, it is connected to the LNET converter. And then with the local net cable, it is connected here to the Digitrax LNWI and then the regular throttle for turning your track power on and off with and then the TCS throttle here. So I won't go through all the steps on, on connecting it because there's lots of other videos and it's really easy. You just turn it on and select that and you are up and running. So if you have any more questions or comments, please leave those in the description below. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.